Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Raf Takes. Thank you for tuning into another video. Now, in this video, I want to talk about why Chris Boucher is the most valuable piece that we have off the bench and what Nick Nurse had to say about Chris Boucher's performance so far this season. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment, give me your thoughts, and let's tune right in. He's been really good. He's been um, very professional. It's one thing about Chris is he really, first of all, he's a guy that practices hard, right? He kind of just has a, a gear that he plays in, right? And that's good. So he's always going, even even if it's five on zero or whatever, he's flying around in, in his mode, right? That, I think, um, is leading by example. He really prepares well for games, right? You can see him getting ready. He's got his routine. He's got his mental preparation and things that he does to get ready to go. Also, I think those are learning things. But he also just seems like an older, older guy now. I know, and, he, and you know, being around uh, makes you feel that way, right, for a while. But uh, he does. He does try to pitch in and help more as he as he goes up, you know, the the, the ladder a little bit and just experience here. Yeah. Any young team in this league that has aspirations of winning a championship or going deep into the playoffs need veterans. And when we say veterans, we don't really mean guys that are late into their thirties. It could be guys in their late 20s that has been in the league for a while, that have experience, that have the credibility to speak in the locker room and lead by example. Now, Chris Bush is a very important piece to this team. One of the first guys off the bench, brings in a lot of energy, can shoot the three, get those rebounds, is really long. And especially on those closeouts for those open threes other teams get, he probably leads the league in blocking a lot of those threes. He's really special. I mean... You know, he got into the NBA pretty late, started playing basketball pretty late, but the guy's only 29. He's on a three-year contract, so shout out to him for coming back to the Raptors for three years. By the time his contract is done, he's going to be 32. Like, there's still a lot of productive basketball he can play, and even his maturity. He's been with Golden State, won a championship with the Raptors, won a G League, I think it was MVP and Defensive Player of the Year. Like, he's really special, and I know he doesn't get a lot of credit because last year he didn't have a great start to the season, but towards the second half of the season, he really picked it up. And in Tampa... He was a phenomenal player, especially on the offensive side of things. So listen to this interview from Chris Boucher and just listen to his maturity and just how he's able to articulate his thoughts. I mean, obviously, you got to come and play serious uh, focus from the get-go. Um, any team that you play against, if they lost, they're going to make the adjustment and all that. Um, I think we came in here and, you know, we started a little sloppy. And obviously, uh, if you play back-to-back, -back, they uh, you know, capitalize on that. So... It's going to be harder to win games, but, I mean, it's the NBA, so we got to be ready every game. And we had a good game plan. We just didn't have the energy to do it. And I think that's what cost us the game, really. How important is it for not just yourself, but, like, the bench to step up on game games like these where sometimes the spark isn't always there? Oh, it's their job, to be honest with you. The starters are doing what they have to do, and their job is to come off the bench and bring the same energy. So um, that's all I'm worrying about, just trying to do the little things and all that and, you know, make everybody uh, see that I'm ready to play. And I mean, obviously today it was a little harder. I think we didn't have the energy that we need, but um, I'm always going to try to bring energy. Tough stretch is over. Um, Atlanta Hawks next. How are you approaching that? Yeah, cool. Better than today. You know, so we need to play a little harder. Obviously, close out to shooters a lot better. Um, just play as a team. I think we're a little bit sloppy today. Um, missed a lot of game, the easy shots. And, we got to be better than that, obviously. Um, we could have beat these guys again if we really played together. And I think today we had a little moment where we were a little bit off. But it yeah, happens to every good team. Chris Boucher is a champion. And I'm very happy to see that he knows his role in the NBA, especially on this team. He knows what he brings to the table, what he has to do night in, night out to help this team win. And it shows. He's been very productive from the playoffs last year and the beginning of this year. Like the moment he got into the game, when he came back from the injury, he was productive right off the get-go. We had those two wins against Philly and Miami. He's been looking really good. So let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 500 subscribers. I'm doing this full time. Making videos every single day for you guys. So thank you for all the support. I'll catch you next time. It's your boy Raf Takes. Peace.